Welcome to Utah State Aviation. We're excited to have you here. Um, our goals with these uh, videos are just to kind of give you, the uh, student, um, a better idea of how to care for our airplane um, and the airplanes that, you, that you'll be flying. So um, as we go through these, uh, be sure to pay attention as this is stuff that's going to be expected of you to do as you take care of our airplanes. So the first thing is as we start here, you're going to come out to the airplane and in a perfect world, you come out to the airplane that's chalked and secured. Um, so you can see these things here, you're going to have a stall warning horn cover. All right, down over here, you're going to see a pedal tube cover. And then over here, you'll see the airplane chalked. So as you come up to the airplane, you can leave those in there. And then you get up to the canopy here. And then when you open this, just be very careful because, you know, these are expensive airplanes. So just, you know, open it nice and smooth. All right. Don't shove it or anything like, like that. And just let it rest there. When this is open, uh, this can catch air. So be very careful if, it, if there's gusty conditions or if there's airplanes taxing behind you. Because what can happen is as the propellers move, this could, this could catch a big gust of air and then potentially damage the uh, prongs here. So be very careful with uh, that. To open and close, you just move this red handle right here. All right. So then when you get to the airplane, uh, you'll see on the inside here, uh, sometimes there'll be a gust control lock. All right, so to remove the gust control lock, um, it's buckled into these straps up on top of the, of the uh, panel here. So you just click in and it just works just like that. All right, and then you're gonna unsecure it that way and then you're gonna reach over here and unsecure it that way, all right? And then that right there is how you remove it, okay? Then it has these prongs down here on the rudder pedals, all right, that you just lift up on and then it comes out just like that. All right, now the important thing is to, is to secure this because you don't want to just throw it in the back seat or throw it next to you, all right? So all the airplane's um, important stuff should be stored in the back. And any other things like um, any of these gust control locks or pedal tube covers or anything should be stored in the very back of the airplane here. So you see, just put it right back there like that. Then that's where, where you, where you want to put that. All right, then you can return back to the, to the front of the airplane here. And this, actually this canopy works just like that front canopy. All right, so same thing here. Be very careful as you open and close it. What happens with a lot of students is they come in and they close it and then they, they let it free fall. And this does a pretty good job, but it also could damage the airplane. So just help it fall down with you, all right? And just walk it down and let it you know, come in just like that. And then close that with that red lever right there. All right, cool. So now that you've um, removed the gust control lock, during your pre-flight, you'll remove these, these items, but I'll just show you here. Uh, so this right here is a stall warning horn cover. This prevents um, insects from getting into the stall warning horn system. So you wanna take it and just pull on it to take that out, all right? So hold on to that. Don't, don't set up on the ground, okay? You wanna hold on to it. Then you can move down here and you can grab your pedo tube cover, all right? This just slips on there kind of like a yeah, sock. You just pull it out and now that's covered too. And these also would go into the back of the airplane where that gust control lock went. All right, so for the chocks, all right, the chocks are there, as you know, to prevent the airplane from moving. Um, and when you come and do your pre-flight, it's fine if you take the chocks off. Um, but if you ever leave the airplane uh, to go into dispatch or whatever, be sure to put the chocks back on because this is gonna prevent the airplane from rolling without you there. Because if you're not there when the airplane rolls, that's not a good thing. All right, so you come down here, all right, and you grab the chocks. Okay, now if you're just moving the airplane from maybe the hangar to the ramp or somewhere, you know, short, it's okay to put the chocks right here. All right, but other than that, like if you're doing your pre-flight and you're gonna go fly, be sure to put the chocks in that very back part of the airplane once again. One big don't with the chocks is do not hang them here, all right? Uh, Cause that could cause the, uh, you know, could, could cause you to you know, take off with the chocks down there and forget about them. The other big thing is don't don't hang them from the from the uh, prop either. All right, um, so the chalk should either be on the wing or in the back of the airplane. All right, so getting into the airplane, you want to be careful. Um, there's a lot of parts that you could damage um, stepping incorrectly or grabbing incorrectly. So we got a step here. You're going to put one foot on, and then there's a marked area with gray. You want to make sure that you're only stepping on this gray. Uh, stepping anywhere else on the wing could cause damage. And once you're up on this step, uh, you don't want to push or pull on the back of the seat because that could cause damage. So I typically put one of my hands up here and then on this dash, there's a little handhold 
you can grab onto. And so making sure don't step on the seats. You can cause <clears throat> um, the fabric to tear or rip. And then once, you're, once you've got both feet in, just kind of lowering yourself, holding onto this handhold, and making sure not to kick the stick or any of the controls in the plane. All right, so when you're getting out of the aircraft, it's basically just the opposite of when you're getting in. So you got the handhold, you're gonna stand up. It's really important to not grab onto this piece of plastic because it can break really easily. And then I, again, just put your hand up on the top of the plane, make sure you're not kicking anything and stepping on the grip tape. One thing, whether you're in the front or back seat is to not walk off the back. The tape does go all the way back to allow you to get into the back seat, but you only wanna enter and exit from the front of the wing. And then coming down, using the step and the handhold and getting home. All right, so during the summer, uh, these windscreens get really dirty with bugs and they collect a lot. So make sure before you take off, uh, during your pre-flight, you make sure that you can see through. Part of the reason you also want to make sure you, you can see through very well is uh, so while you're scanning for traffic and that kind of thing, you don't have anything obscuring your view. So you're just going to spray on a fair amount. Of course, it's always awkward getting up here. And the biggest thing is you want to make sure that you're going up the windscreen. That way, if there's any scratches or anything like that, uh, they're in the direction up. You never want to do circles. Just like that. And don't be afraid to put as much as you need on there to get all those bugs off. pre-flight you're going to come across the fuel sump and you're going to use this to check the quality of the fuel and ensure that it's correct. Um, when you're returning it back to the airplane in the back you need to make sure that it is in this plastic bag. Um, it'll have fuel on it and it could leak onto any of the aircraft surfaces um, or seats and cause damage. And then um, when you're filling up the oil uh, if you need to you just want to make sure that this doesn't end up anywhere in the aircraft after it's disposed of properly. You should only ever be putting a full quart in at a time. And then also, if you're going local, you probably won't be taking oil with you, but if you do end up going on a cross country, uh, you wanna make sure that you, if you're taking oil with you, it's an unopened uh, container and it's kept inside of a plastic bag, uh, just like the fuel sump is. You do not want to have an opened or unsecured oil container in the aircraft. So when you get back from a flight, you're gonna have to secure the aircraft. The first thing you're gonna do when you get out of the plane to secure the aircraft, is chalk the plane. To chalk the plane, you put one in front of the wheel and one behind it. And that's just so the plane can't roll anywhere. The next thing is gonna be to tie down the plane. The long tie down is for the wings and the short one will be for the tail. So to tie down the plane, you're gonna wanna find this eyelet right here, put the hook in, and then this hook will go into a hook on the ramp. And then once that's in, you want to tighten it by pulling on the rope like that. Same thing for the tail. The next step would be your covers. You got your stall indicator cover. That inserts just like this. You just push it right in there in the hole. And that's in. And then the next is the pedo cover. That you just insert by pushing it on like that and applying some force to get it to stick. The next thing you're going to want to do is put the gust lock on. That goes inside the plane. All right, so to apply the gust lock, you want to first make sure your rudders are pulled all the way forward. Next, you're putting the back end on the rudders. The front will go right under the stick like this. The short rope wraps around and clips right into there. And then same thing on this side, wraps around like this and we'll clip in on that side over there. All right, and the last thing you're gonna wanna do if you have to push the plane into the hangar, you're gonna get a drip pan Come under the plane, find the drain tubes, and just place it right underneath. All right, 
class. Now we're going to go over some general do's and don'ts for when, the, for when the airplane is in your care. Um, if you do need to bring a beverage, be sure that's water and that's in a sealed container. Uh, you can't bring any other beverage besides water, no coffee, no uh, Gatorade or soda, nothing that's sticky. So just be sure it's water and that it's in a sealed container and it can fit into our, cup, into our cup holders. We can't have water rolling around in the back because um, it could be a safety hazard. Um, additionally, uh, be sure not to litter in the airplane. So if you have any trash, it's okay to put it somewhere, but just when you leave the airplane, part of your post-flight is you should be taking that trash with you to, to uh, throw away.